Okay, strolling through the ship to log in at some muster station or something. But on the way, we're walking through King's Court. It's a buffet area. We're going to come back and test out the food here later. But we'll have a little browse on the way. Coffees. Fruit juices. Probably got a bit of pizza. Ooh, what's that? Pasta. A bit of pizza. Got some uh, soups. <laughs> Variety of different things. Here you get some like, cold cheeses, cold meats to wander around. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh, that brie looks good, man. Nice. Oh, little desserts, walnuts, pizzas, everything around here. But we will come back and examine all of this more in detail later. First of all, we've got a must check in. What is this where we check in on the... So this is, if we if it crashes, we have to come here, do we? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'll never remember how to get back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And at 4.30 they give you a broadcast telling you what happens if the thing crashes. Um, I'm never going to find that muster station again, but anyway. Okay, it's still King's Court, much the same as before. More fruit juice, more tea. Oh man, look, there's a lifeboat just right out of that window. Oh, sorry baby. Look, there's a lifeboat just there. How bizarre is that? What kind of lifeboat has a roof? In case of emergency, look at that. you genuinely just dropped like 50. Yeah, you just dropped into the sea in a case of emergency. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? You just dropped into the sea. No. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a quick look around here. Right, so this is the bigger buffet section of King's Court. Let's have a quick glimpse around this. Okay, it's got loads of like nice cold meats. Oh, lots of all sorts of breads. Oh, look, it's sushi section. Oh man, sashimi section. Mrs. D. Sashimi. Mm. Sushi station. Mm. Is that real ice? That is real ice. That is an ice sculpture. But it is an ice sculpture. Oh, another ice sculpture. Haddock. Turkey. Yeah. Mm, roast veal. Roast veal looks good, doesn't it? Nice. Actually looks really good in here. Oh, chips. Cream mushroom soup. Mm. Actually looks really good, all the food in there. I'm going to definitely go back there and have a little taster at some point. So Manga, what, what part of the tour is this? Okay. Very nice. This is the drinks and snacks. I've never been in it, right? It's very chilled in here. What was this called? The Corinthia Lounge. Corinthia Lounge. Corinthia Lounge. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. This must be the spa. Morel Wellness and Beauty. Oh yeah, it's got a spa vibe in here, hasn't it? Everybody just chilling out. Oh, it's a fitness centre. Oh, fitness centre. Oh, nice little fitness centre. Got a few bikes, a few things like that, a few towels. Very cool. Which big I thought this gym it goes on. Oh, you've got a rather nice view out in front of the ship. Oh, look at those weights. Okay, so you've got a pretty good gym, basically. It goes right around. Oh, you got some of weird. Can you get out? We can get out, yeah. Very cool. Right, deck 13 we come to now. We're going to some terrifying place where we can look out and, I don't know, see the world or the sea or Southampton. Oh, wow, this is pretty good. Oh, can we go higher? Okay, so that's a look out into the uh, 
Oh, right. Let's go up here. It is bright. Really weird big dame over there as well. So here we are. Oh, it is so bright up here. Right, we go up to this slightly higher bit. Oh, really weird. Like a sort of football stadium up here. Man, look at that. Man, that is absolutely mental up here. Giant container ships. Hold onto your hat. Look at that. The sea. Man. That is that is less than uh, relaxing. That's actually weird up here. Yeah, it's quite frightening. Don't look off the edge, man. That is quite extraordinary up here. So it's quite mind-blowing up here. You've got an amazingly good view, but you really are right on the edge of this thing here man can't really oh, better look over there it's just too freaky uh, um, yeah windy can't wear your hat up here oh man there's what's that oh that's the golf area huh and what there's something else over the other side oh man amazing view Right, Let's see what else we can find up here. Still on this sort of top bit, you've got like a sort of mini, slightly bizarre mini tennis court there. Uh, what down here must be like a sort of shuffleboard game. Let's see if we can do that. And then over here you've got uh, golf. Golf looks really good fun. If we can work out how to have a go at that golf thing. Um, let's see what we can do on the mad cruise. So this is the bit you don't normally see. This is the internal private section. So these are the staircases and lifts that lay leaves. So it's not as luxurious. It looks much more like a ship, basically, doesn't it? It looks like a ship as opposed to a sort of luxy hotel thing, which is what we're back into now. Ah, inner cabins with no windows in here. Here we go. Here's some funky information about the ship. First voyage. 12 January 2004, height 71.9 meters, guest capacity 2,691, 13 desks, but uh, but you can actually go up to 14. Ship's crew 1,292. Now you can get this on your um, oh look, got a map of where we're going, showing our current position. Where we come from and where we're going, right, is up here. And then you see Germany, and we're going right down this river here. So, um, how many miles do you say Hamburg is away us about from the, the um, uh, sea? Uh, about, uh, about 100 miles from the sea. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a long way down the Elbe River, uh, and it'll take us a day and a half. Is this exact? It takes a day and a half. Uh, that is the maximum guest capacity, is 2,691 guests, and there are 1,292 ship's queue crew to look after us. And the number of desk, guest desk decks here is wrong. Oh, it says guest decks. Yes, it does. So perhaps uh, there are 13 guest decks. There are various decks down below that for the crew to live in. And there is one, a higher deck, called Deck 14, where there is the lookout. And what is the average speed of the boat? Uh, the average speed are, is, say, 20 knots, about uh, uh, nearly 30 miles an hour. So it's not very fast. Uh, by terms of a ship, it's extremely fast. Really? And most um, cruise ships probably only do 16 or uh, more knots. So uh, 20 knots is, is very fast for a ship. Um, the QE2, one of the pre predecessors, uh, did 30 knots, which was the fastest ship in the world. Oh, really? So you can see that 20 knots plus is, is a good speed. It's a good speed. Very interesting. And out here, I think we have the pool. Let's have a look at the pool. Oh, not bad. No lifeguard on duty. Pool looks good. No jumping or diving. Not a massive one, but it'll do. A little splish splash. Oh man, you must have got a sort of mad drum set. Oh, rapey, table tennis tables. Got a nice table tennis tables here as well. Wow, that's good quality table tennis tables. 
Nice. Really cool pool area, look at it. I guess it's sort of a pool bar area as well in the evening. Okay everybody, here we are. As it says, Queen Mary 2. Oh yeah. Here's where we are. And there's another sort of shuffleboard game we're going to try later. Oh, a sort of rope one. Oh, that's cool. A load of cool things. Absolutely mental place here. Apparently there's a kennels around here somewhere. No, oh, this is a cafe. Oh, kennels. Here's the kennels. Access for pet owners only. Kennels entrance. Beware, dogs may bite. Oh, that. Yeah? <laughs> it's okay, I'm a pet owner. I'm the owner of Jeffrey, the travel dog. You actually see them in there. Oh, I'm seeing. What are you doing? I'm messing around with the guys inside, pretending to bark like a dog. I did not. <laughs> so this is a grill's terrace. We are. This area is reserved. This area is reserved for Queen's Grill and Princess oh, Grill guests. So here we go, we are far from the Princess Grill. One up from that is Queen's Grill. <laughs> Just go and get in there anyway. <laughs> here we go, right, heading out into this, um, this, wow, look at that, it's actually a pretty good view out here. Look at that. Very nice, Grill's Terrace, looking good. Cheers! Check out, you got a little mini hot tub. It's got a general vibe. Yeah, you've got a very good view out of the back, haven't you? Oh man, only you can see further down to the other bit, so that's quite interesting. So you, see, you can also see right down to the back of the ship down here with another pool. Check it out. <laughs> You've got a beautiful view there. Look at it, amazing. Amazing view. There's another little mini dip pool at the very back. <laughs> Intriguing. Look at that, amazing view of this dock area. So if you look at the end of the back thing, down here, underneath this bit here, there's like four cabins that are two floored. So the duplex cabins, crazy stuff, man. Right? Look at those ships going away out there. Quite amazing, actually. IKEA. Associated, Associated British Ports. Whoa. Look at it. Amazing view. Right. We're now at the front of the ship. On the observation deck here. I'm going to make sure my hat doesn't fly off. Got a pretty good view out here. Look at it. Over to these mad ships again. Look at it. It's actually quite big up here. What's actually down there? Is that a massive anchor? Yeah. That dome, I have no idea that dome. It's really bizarre, isn't it? It does look like the OT dome. <laughs> what do you think the dome is? I don't know what the dome is. Nobody knows what the dome is. On around here, no. How big the observation deck, and in here seems to be a. I don't know you can see inside that room, but that's where you can play bridge and be taught bridge. And they're even giving you bridge tips on the, the whiteboard. That seems huge. Oh, this place is mad, isn't it? Look at it. Look at it. Bizarrely enough, those big silver things are spare propeller bits. And the propeller get mangled. And that is a waste of energy unit, the dome. Look at them just filling those ships, amazing. So hey, look, you can turn up here, you can have your welcome bridge players, daily bridge sessions, beginner bridge, intermediate, duplicate bridge game. Mm -hmm. Dream. Atlantic room, here we go, in the bridge area. Uh, I think I have. Well, surprisingly big, this bridge area, isn't it? 
Oh, like everything else that goes all yeah. around the corner. Well, you've even got like this uh, sort of sequence being explained to you here. Okay, Commodore Club we're in now, which is, Commodore Club must be a kind of little fancy place to chill out, get a drink I guess. It's got a little funkier sort of ship decoration stuff in here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like a sort of swish bar. Yeah, it's cool. I can see back out the front, but it's kind of a nice funky room, isn't it? Nice and chill. Captain's just telling us about how we have to listen to his mandatory emergency chip chat. This is the, uh, well, there's a menu, yeah, so you've got all sorts of spirits, drinks, usual stuff. Cocktails. Yeah, it's very cool here. Got a really nice uh, sort of ship on the wall there, which is kind of funky. Good ship model. Oh, it's even bigger around this side. I guess the piano's on the other side, it's just a bit slightly smaller. But yeah, you got a nice thing. A lot of people, we're off to Hamburg, obviously, so there's a lot of stuff in German going on. Churchill's, yeah, exactly. I think Churchill's, you can actually smell the good cigars out here, so check out Churchill's Cigar Lounge. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, there's a bookshop and gift shop. There's a bookshop and gift shop there. One of the biggest libraries of Flay. Okay, one of the biggest libraries of Flay, right? Oh, right, this is the library. Hello. Check it out. Oh, man, check it out. It's funky. Yeah. Oh, it's got an amazing smell of books in the library. Yeah. yeah. One of the biggest libraries of Flay. Oh. Computers as well. Um, There's another computer room down there. Interesting. Look at it. Quite mad, this uh, library zone. Got loads of books. <coughs> Everywhere. Biography, British history, philosophy, history. And um, all sorts of fancy people have been on board. Rita Hayworth, Clark Gable was on board the ship. On this ship, or just ships? The earlier ships. Oh, uh, Cary Grant. Oh, look at him. He looks good always, doesn't he? But Lancaster, who's that with him? Quite interesting. Bing Crosby. Johnny Weissenmuller. Charles, Charlie Chaplin. Looks quite weird like that, Charlie Chaplin. Stan Laurel. All sorts of, oh man, this is a really weird spot coming down to a giant sculpture of a man with a sort of thing. What a weird, bizarre spot. And this is a planetarium. It's like even mental, isn't it? To have a planetarium inside a ship. Look at these guys. Look at it. Here we go. Planetarium. Called Illuminations. No entry. Go and prepare for the next event. There's a lower floor down there, lower floor, but it's rather intriguing this little bit here. Rather sort of little mini chilled seating area. Just to chill out in, look out at the sea. Look at that, I wonder where this takes us. Actually quite, quite low to the waterline here, aren't you? Good afternoon everyone, this is Dr. Watt speaking uh, from the bridge. I'd like to wish you all a very warm welcome on board the Queen Mary 2. This is to advise that at 16.30 today, which is in 15 minutes time, the ship's alarm signals will be sounded, announced and made as all newly embarked guests are familiarised with the ship's emergency procedures. The general emergency alarm signal consists of seven short blasts followed by one long blast of the ship's alarms and indicates that you need to go to your assembly station. During today's safety formalisation, there is no need to proceed to your assembly station as you should have already attended during the embarkation process. Anyway, you can hear them chatting about the emergency sound that's going to go on. And this is the, oh, Royal Court Theatre. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good theatre. Look at that. Was it? We just Some kind of light. Yes, Actually, you've got a sort of rock band. Yeah. 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 You wouldn't think you're on a boat. You wouldn't think you're on a boat if you saw that, would you? It's actually quite amazing. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Little sort of shopping area. Yeah. Liberty designer sunglasses. Yeah, so you've got a. There seem to be sharks because we're still in the port at the moment. Oh, weird. And you're coming out to quite a big open area here. What's this? What's down there? That's weird, that's like a sort of hotel reception. 
strange. What's down there? Oh, it is a reception. It is like a hotel. This is like a hotel. It's like a hotel reception, isn't it? Yeah, that's the perfect place. Um, oh. You've got any problem with your cabin? Oh, I see. You're going to stuff out. Change some money. We came in late. by that Royal Court Theatre. Um, I think we came in down there. Okay. Yeah. Intriguing, that area. What's this? The Boston Commemorative yeah. Cup. <laughs> grand Lobby. This is the Grand Lobby. Huh. It's nicely grand, isn't it? It's much bigger down here. Uh, we're it's wandering around big. down here. Most ships don't have any air like this. I wonder whether they've got those things, but you could have tanks in it or something like that. Oh, right. Take to attack. This is a champagne bar. Champagne bar on the left, chart room, <coughs> Godiva. Is that just a chocolate area or a sort of yeah. chocolate yeah. cafe area? Look at that. Look at all these chocolates, man. Look at them. How much do you think each one is? £71.50. Oh, it doesn't say. This is actually, what is this actually just a chocolate area? How bizarre. It does seem to literally be a chocolate area. This is the Britannia restaurant. This is Thomas Champagne Bar. This must be more like the main restaurant. Mm. And this is like the main restaurant, really, isn't it? Yeah, this is the restaurant. Yeah. So if you come on your standard voyage, this is where you'd come to eat. Wow, look at it, it's huge. So this restaurant is completely mad. Look at it, absolutely huge, huge. Look at it with upper bits over there, downstairs bits, bits up on the other side. Absolutely mental mad restaurant, man. Literally more bizarre by the minute, isn't it? We're in some other absolutely massive place now. This is man alive, look at that. This is just like some. This is the Queen's room where the dancing Oh, so this is where the dancing happens. You know, come right for the ballroom dancing. Look at it. Massive. What's the time? Is that like a long Look at that. Crazy. Right, this is G32. This is the nightclub. Check it out. Man, even this is quite big. What goes up that staircase? Check out the nightclub, man. You've got another live band area. And it goes on all the way around here. Look at it. And you've got G32. We're in big style on the wall. Wander around here in the nightclub while the captain tells us the emergency uh, stuff. I've actually got a second level to this nightclub, which is quite bizarre. Let me stroll up here, see what looks like. Ooh, this place is a huge, amazing just how big all this place is, man. Right, here we go. Upper level. Of the uh, nightclub. And a funky little leather sofa, so we can chill out. I mean, how full does this place get? G32. Come on. Yeah. Well, we're out. That's quite funky. This glass is leather chairs at the back. Bar. Come on up here. You can see it. If you are prevented from returning to your stateroom, you back down here. Amazing. Just how much space this place has got. Absolutely masses of it everywhere. All around. English and German again, obviously. Here we go, back down again. Here we go, cool model of the Q Mary 2. Oh, cool, got the staircase. This is that bizarre, um, bizarre massive restaurant again, walking through it. You can see the whole thing, pretty funky, look at it. I'm gonna wander right through it and out the end. I'm gonna try to find the casino now, have a quick look at what the casino looks like. Getting ready for supper now. Oh. oh, you can actually walk out on this lower level. Stroll on down here, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, there's one more floor. There's one more floor down. Right, oh, this is the Golden Lion. This is the sort of pub area, isn't it? Oh, let's have a look at the pub and the casino. All right, so this is the Golden Lion pub. Check 
at that. Have a look in here. Funky. This is quite nice. Quite nice leather sofas. Pop style to the place. Quite a nice big piano. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Funky. Pretty good. Deal of the day is uh, Yorkshire Pride, six dollars ten. Oh, these are more. Oh, is that what you gallery. Oh, this must be where they take photo upon photo of you. Sometimes take. Yeah, they take the photos of you, don't they? And where's the casino? All right. Oh, so that's Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. So you've got these kind of crazy uh, wall coverings down here. Different countries, yeah, exactly. So Canada, Mexico, Canada, Canada America. America. Uh, Zeus, Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, Africa. Oh, it does it say? Oh, we're back into this sort of reception area now. What I think of it as, where you got the purses office, so you go and chat about stuff like room. Oh, here's the. Empire Casino. Is this the, uh, slot machines. Oh, you have got proper casino bits. Is this where the person? Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, wow. Well, the casino appears to be kind of shut at the moment. Unless you can use your slot machine thing. It's quite funny, you actually use... So everything in the ship is done via this card. So everything you buy, everything you do, it's done on this card and you, before you leave you've already put your credit card details onto it so if you buy anything you buy it via this card and it just goes straight onto your credit card and you can use this credit card in the slot machines so you can just literally wouldn't know how much you've lost yeah so if you if you play the slot machines you get complimentary drinks as you play <laughs> maximum of two drinks in any one transaction once your meter fills, we'll serve the drink for choice at the slot machine. Your drinks meter is playing on the slot machine, so you can watch it fill up. Man, 